What's up, my name is Alex Costa, and let me tell you, if you do one of the things on this list, then uh, I just don't know if we could be friends, all right? I made a list of the seven things that a man should never do. And if you're a long time subscriber, then I doubt that you do any of these because you watch my videos. But if you're new, this might be a shock. So make sure to subscribe because I want you to learn about men's fashion, men's hairstyling tips, dating advice, and so much more. So subscribe and join the 2.9 million other guys who are here learning and becoming better every day. All right, the first one is from personal experience. You will always regret this. Trust me on this one, boys. Never send a text message or email when you're angry or upset. It doesn't come out right. You can say things you don't mean. You're not thinking. You know, you're acting from your emotions and anger, not from reason, not from up here. So take a second to breathe, you know, slow down. Calm down, you don't need to answer that text right away. You don't need to email back right this second. Go get some fresh air. No matter how rude the other person is being, you can't control their actions, but you can always control your own. I'll make it easy for you guys. <laughs> this is something that I do, okay? When somebody sends you a hateful message, don't reply. Don't. Think about them squirming in anger and go get some bomb food, watch a movie, you know, and then message them back after when you're not angry, you're chilling, and then hopefully they will be calm by then as well. And usually that's the case. It is the best decision that you can make. Next, don't speak ill of others, especially in a group setting. I get it. We all like to gossip sometimes. It's fun, it's human, it's fine. But be really careful with what you say and who you say it to. If you like to gossip, then the people that you're with probably like to do that as well. And they will tell other people what you've just said. So my advice, zip it. Even if you're thinking, you know, something negative about someone, obviously it happens and you wanna say it, you wanna tell someone about it, don't. There is no point, keep it to yourself. And if you're with your, you know, your partner, your best friend who you trust with your life, then sure, talk freely, but that is really it. Never in a group setting because that will definitely come back and bite back. Next, and this one is a core value of, of being a man, you know, is keeping other people safe. It really is. We can look back thousands of years and that is what a man is all about. So don't forget about safety. And as you get older, and this is something that I definitely realize, is you're not only keeping yourself safe, you wanna keep other people safe, whether it's your family, your, your friends, people who live with you, your roommates, right? So do not forget about safety. And today's sponsor knows all about that. Cove Security is DIY home security. So you don't have to have anyone at home to set it up for you. And in these times where you can't really be seeing other people, it is perfect. Plus, you're obviously saving on that installation cost. There's no annoying sales rep, you know, trying to oversell you, trying to overpromise you. You are the one that sets it up, and it only takes about 25 minutes, which means it's super easy. It's 24/7 nationwide professional monitoring with monthly coverage starting at 15 bucks, depending on the plan that you select. So for 15 bucks a month, you have your whole house covered and secure. For, so for 15 bucks a month, you are maintaining the safety of your home. You basically just go on their website and select the products you know, of your choice. You can get the alarm panel, door sensors, motion detector, the remote keys. You can get window sensors, glass break detectors, smoke detectors. And of course, you can get the camera. And I turned it on here so you guys could see how good the camera quality really is. I mean, it really is amazing. I put it in my entryway and it keeps everyone safe. Uh, I just like knowing when people come in and out. I do have a few people that come in and out, like my videographer, my brothers have the keys to my place, et cetera, et cetera. So I wanna make sure that everyone's safe, that my place is safe, and Cove does an amazing job at that. Guys, I live with my girlfriend. I wanna make sure that she's safe at all times. So this is something that's really important to me. Whether we're sleeping, you know, safely, I just feel a lot safer, feel a lot better, more comfortable, knowing that my place is safe and secure. And the fact that Cove is easy to stall and affordable just makes it so much better. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you guys 60% off. Right now, if you go on the website, we're gonna give you 60% off. Of course, it's a holiday season, we wanna give back. So use the link in the description below to get 60% off Cove security and make sure that your home is safe from anything that comes your way. The next thing that men should never ever do is think that they are invincible. Get into fights, drive super fast, jump off of cliffs, you know, to go diving. Like, come on guys, you gotta think a little bit harder than that. I've been in some weird situations in my lifetime, all right? I was a bouncer in a club once I, uh, during the summertime. And let me tell you, I've been in some fights. It's not fun. It's not really that fun. No matter who wins, it's not fun. There is no real winner. 
in a fight. You know, you both lose. So I highly recommend against it. Take a step back, calm down, leave. It, it's all good. It's all good. Driving fast. I love to drive fast. I think it's fun. It's a cool hobby, but only when you're doing it safely, if there's even a way to do that. So it depends on where you are, who you're with, what kind of car you're driving, all of that. You have to make sure that you understand you are not invincible and something could go wrong very quickly. And you know, as you get older, you realize that. But when you're younger, man, you really don't care. I understand. I was 16 once, you know, I was driving super fast in my 1998, I think, Jetta. And you know, it, it wasn't safe. Looking back now, I'm so glad, so blessed that nothing happened. I'm so lucky. So I'm giving you this advice now. If you're a teenager, you're watching this and you're thinking, hey, I'm gonna drive real fast. I'm gonna, you know, have fun with my friends. Slow down, take it easy. Don't get into fights. Don't drive super fast and no diving off of cliffs especially if you haven't been down there to see what the situation is like. Another thing that none of you guys should be doing, no man should ever get blackout drunk. It is embarrassing. You do things that you don't mean to do. You get super sloppy. You don't remember anything. You wake up the next day with a bad, bad headache. Your body hurts. You may throw up. I mean, what is the benefit of getting, of getting blackout drunk? absolutely zero. Plus you spent all that money on alcohol. You don't remember anything. You didn't have a good time. Your body doesn't feel good. I mean, it is crazy how bad it is to get blackout drunk. I understand if you guys want to have a social drink here and there, you know, with your friends, with your family, with your partner, that is totally fine. Have some fun, have a few drinks, but don't go all the way. Don't step on the gas and I'm just say, I'm going to go all out tonight because that is when trouble starts. I'm telling you, uh, you know, not gonna lie, it has happened to me before and yeah, I hated it. It was absolutely horrible. It's a terrible experience. Don't go that far. The next thing a man should never do is dress like a boy, like a child. You are a man, you should aim to dress like a gentleman. No, that doesn't mean, you know, wearing a suit and being super stuffy at all times. But maybe it's time to let go of that Spider-Man t-shirt that you wear once in a while, even if you're just at home, because you're a grown up now. <laughs> and it's funny because we hold on to these things, right? To these, whether it's like a t-shirt or a toy or something like that from back in the day. And I think it's okay to have as a memory, but make sure that no one catches you wearing that because that would be so embarrassing. And also as a fashion guy, let me just say, it is completely okay to wear whatever you would like. I just think that if you want to be treated and seen as a gentleman, then you need to look the part. You need to play that part really well. Otherwise, people are going to look at you and think that you are a child, think that you are childish or a boy. So make sure that if you want to be professional, if you want to be seen as classy as a gentleman, then step it up, guys. Dress like a gentleman. Get clothes that fit you well. Get some nice jackets that really look amazing and enhance your style. You know, if you want to go for that street style look, that's completely fine. I don't see that as childish at all. I think that is fashionable. I think that is stylish. So go for it. If you want to go for something that is a little bit more clean cut, that is completely fine as well, as long as it fits you perfectly and as long as you feel good in it. And uh, I'm gonna give you guys a bonus here. No man should ever admit that they watched the Twilight trilogy because you know, I have never watched that and never will. And I don't know what happens at all. And most certainly did not Read, uh, read the books, all of the books when I was younger. Definitely not. Mm -mm. <laughs> it's funny, man. I, I was so embarrassed when I read all of the, those books and I watched the movies and then it kind of like became the biggest chick flick ever. And I was like, ugh, I kind of liked it. You know, I was, I think I was 19 when I read the books. Uh, and it was, <laughs> uh, my partner at the time really liked it. We read the books together and it was awesome. So yes, I did, I did. Shame. <laughs> If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button below and subscribe. Thank you so much, Cove, for sponsoring today's video and making sure that my home is safe. You guys have to check them out. 60% off. That is insane. That's such a good deal on already an affordable system. So go check them out. It is the first link in the description below. And of course, if you learn something new, you got to hit that subscribe button below and become part of the YouTube family. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you again very, very soon. Peace.